Some view the name of a march as degrading, but the message is anything but that. 13 Action News reporter Leslie Marine is live at UNLV, where many march today in what is being called the No Shame Slut Walk. Leslie. Trisha, it's the obvious use of the words slut walk that have a lot of people shaking their heads, but we spoke to a survivor who says it's not about the words, it's about people's action because of them. It was one of the most horrible things that's happened to me in my entire life. And one of the first times Alexa will talk about it. That's how I was lost my virginity was because I was raped at 13 years old. It's a story she not only told us, but a crowd of students at today's No Shame Slut Walk. No victim is to blame. Through the marching, other survivors compelled to tell their stories. I remember being nine and having men noticing my body. It's hurtful and kind of almost shocking. But why use a word so harsh to talk about a topic so serious? The idea of calling it a slut walk is to take the power back in the word. Organizers say they feel the word is often used to describe women who dress or act a certain way. Just because I'm dressed like X, Y, and Z does not mean that it's okay for you to come up to me and touch me and say whatever you want to me or that I'm asking for it. And for survivors like Alexa, how they act or dress shouldn't define them. Just because I'm a woman doesn't mean that I will take it and say it's okay. And the walk was put on by an organization on campus called CARE. They do have a 24-hour hotline for anyone facing any type of sexual assault. We will have a link to that on our website, KTMB.com. Reporting live, Leslie Medin, 13 Action News.